Scott was really in the firing line, particularly up towards the Northern Isles where it's very windy. We've got a covering of snow and it feels particularly cold. These are the late afternoon temperatures, three to nine degrees. These are the centre and third wheels geared together in the depth in tool. You can see there the gears mating together. I made a slight modification to the depth in tool this last couple of days as getting these precisely in depth was a very complicated and difficult thing to do and I wanted to adjust them within a thousandth of an inch and I couldn't do that. I resulted to tapping the, the two nuts, circling nuts underneath. As you can see now that's depth perfectly in the lantern pinion and it's turning easily with my thumb without any sticking points and that's all down to this modification at this end which is actually adjusting nut an adjusting rod that goes right down to the next pivot and allows me to lengthen or shorten it to within a couple of thou quite easily and setting them up like this ensures that the, the gears aren't the wheels aren't too far in depth and make sure that uh, the clock will actually go when I want it to. If the tilt are in depth, the teeth will lock up, the clock will stop, and it's a complete strip down and rebuild, and I'm not looking forward to that. So I think it's worth some time, spending some time, making sure that the depth is spot on and the wheels spot on. The gear you can see on top appearing to be in mesh with the outer ones, an optical illusion, as I'll show you. So when I turn it over, you can actually see they're not in line at all and they make with a different wheel completely. But uh, as you can see, the mating of those two wheels is spot on. I'm very pleased with that. I've done the centre wheel to the third wheel first. And uh, from here on, we will move forward.